it's your girl Michaela Janae here back with another video and first I just like to say happy 2023 woo, 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 woo. for the beginning of this year I wanted to start it off right and I want to start it off with a faith video because it's time i feel like i have a lot to say a lot to share with you guys i went through a lot in 2022 i've grown a lot spiritually and mentally so i want to share with you guys the things that i'm still learning still going through but also the things that i have learned and the things that i've grown from so you guys know the maja speaks will be coming back i wanted to start this year off with sharing how I'm going to be getting back in tune with God for a new year reset a recharge a lot of people when the new year comes in the first thing when they want to do is get healthy get in the gym but only for like the first week and that's all fine and dandy getting healthy should be on everyone's new year's resolution it shouldn't take a new year to make you want to get right you should just want to get right and when it comes to your spiritual well-being and your relationship with God it's a daily walk and it should take and require a little bit more commitment okay so it's not just going to end with this fast but I want to start my year off right with a fast I know a lot of churches and I think my online church transformation church does like a certain fast or something for the first 30 days I don't know but whenever the church service comes on I'm gonna see what they're doing and I might do that also but I know for me personally I want to do something a little different and I wanted to just offer it and throw it out to you guys too because it's something that it's a little bit easier than a eating fast for us 20 somethings I thought it would be a great idea for me and for you if you decide to do it to do a music fast okay so for the whole month of January I am planning to only listen to faith based music whether it's gospel rap whether it's pop music that's Christian only non-secular music okay of course i can't control what other people play in their car but for me in my car in my house when i'm doing my makeup all that is only going to be christian music you know i already cut out a lot of secular music but you know every now and again i'm gonna listen to a little a little something i really love me some r&b so it's gonna be a little bit hard but i just want to completely cut it out for the month of january and just give my focus back to god and when you take things like that out take the secular out and open your mind up to put him back in that place i'm really hoping to see a difference i'm hoping to get closer to him and i'm hoping to get that to be more of my norm fitting him in those spaces and not wanting it all the time you know i hope that taking that out will allow him to come in more and then i might even discover some gospel and some christian artists that i like that is more similar to the r&b that i'm used to now like i said i'm gonna help y'all out if you're somebody who likes hip-hop you like a lot of rap i am going to be in the description box leaving you guys some link for the different places you can find christian music 24 7 so one of the radio stations that i love and that i grew up on is k love it's a christian radio station and they play a lot of the you know pop and slower songs and real light and airy christian slower type of music and you can stream them on your Alexa download their app and also in your car because of course they're a radio station so I'm gonna have Caleb listed I also discovered when I was in Texas one time engine radio and engine radio is a Christian hip-hop radio station based out of Houston Texas and they also have an app so that's another amazing way for me to get in my little hip-hop fix okay all that there's also several different YouTube channels that display only Christian like hip pop and r&b so i'm gonna try to find that and link that and of course i have some of my own playlists made i have a few of my favorite artists on soundcloud like you guys know i love soundcloud i never left soundcloud i never went to spotify apple music nothing i'm a soundcloud girl so i think i'm gonna have to like and then i have all my playlists underneath my likes so i'm gonna have to like separate my christian artists from my secular artists on soundcloud because right now i have it all mixed together but i'm trying to make it majority christian than secular that's gonna be my goal for 2023 every time i go on soundcloud i'm listening to everything and removing the songs that no longer resonate with my spirit where the lyrics are not you know are not good so that's that's what i'm constantly doing for myself and 
praying about and using my discernment about which songs I should still be listening to. What really has my heart is like older 2000s, 90s. On SoundCloud is really where I have all my new artists and I'm gonna make a whole gospel music playlist and link that for you guys too because I'm trying to help y'all, okay? I'm trying to help y'all. I really love music so if I can like put at least one of y'all on to a gospel artist that their music is so good, like that would just make me so happy. Like, cause a lot of people think that Christian music has to be slow or that you know faith-based music has to be boring or push you to sleep but no some of it can get you hype and some of it sounds really really good so that is my goal for January I might even do a little playlist video for you guys but I really want to do this fast and see what comes of it now going along with the music wherever you find your hardest struggle with now if you like like trash TV like you know reality shows and that's like your weakness cut out the reality shows along with the music I'm telling you you're gonna see such a big difference when I was a little bit younger I remember when Love and Hip Hop first came out I used to watch it a little bit those shows weren't even that good at when it first came out you know Cutting things like that out, watching all types of movies, like you're gonna see a difference. So if you are a loving hip hop girl or you just like married at first sight or just like all the different relationship reality shows, The Bachelorette, The Bachelor, if you cut those out, you're gonna see a difference. Any type of TV show that's not honoring God. Now, I'm not talking about the TV show has to be faith based, but you know when you watch it, you like, I don't know how God will feel about this. <laughs> those shows, cut those out. Now for me, I don't really struggle with TV. I don't really watch anything that's like terrible. I don't watch none of those crazy shows. I don't. So TV really isn't my thing. But but what I'm gonna do is really focus in on my reading faith-based books. Now, if you know me, at the beginning of every year, I go to the bookstore and I buy a bunch of faith-based books. And then sometimes I don't read them and I don't get through them. And then, cause like last year, I brought a whole bunch of books and did I finish them? No. So for the month of January, I'm going to read my faith-based books. And if you know me, you know it does not take me long to read a book. It does not take me long to read a romance book. <laughs> So it does take me a little bit longer to get through my faith-based books sometime. So for the month of January, I'm not going to be reading any romance books. I'm only going to be reading my faith-based books. If you want to inch your way into the reading atmosphere for this fast, you don't have to do a lot of books. If it takes you a little bit longer to read, just get one book. One of the best places to buy faith-based books is your local faith-based Christian Catholic store. Places like Mardell, even places like Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby be having the Christian books on sale and then sometimes you can use a coupon. When it comes to the different music, the different TV shows, you're just taking out the secular and taking out the things that brings your focus away from God and putting it back on Him and allowing Him to fill that space. To me, the whole point of reading the faith-based books is not to you stress about who the author is it's more about allowing God to speak through that book because not all the times you're going to relate to everything that the author in a faith-based book is saying especially if they're more mature than you and you haven't been through all that type of stuff yet when it comes to us 20 somethings but it's about reading the words and allowing God to speak through the book and just having that clear mind space time I guess that's what it is too it's about opening up your mind and allowing God into these areas of your life one of my favorite Christian authors is Priscilla Shire she's also one of my favorite speakers yeah I love her books it's great for young women I'll be resonating with everything she says she just raises up spiritual women and I love that but my whole point of this video is just to offer up an invitation of just allowing God in more and being intentional about it any area of your life where you see something that you're not fully allowed allowing God into that area yet or just a way that you still have your hand dipped in the world just try to eliminate that for the month of January and see what changes come from it I think it's gonna be amazing for me every time I do a fast I get something out I want to get a word for the year I'm trying to get some intel I just want to be wrapped up in him in 2023 I want to get closer to him I want to continue to grow and mature in my faith yeah and if you want to of course you can add in taking away different foods nine times out of ten churches do a fast in January so definitely Definitely check that out tap into that and check out my description box because I'm really actually going to put the things I said I'm gonna put in it I'm gonna help you guys with music on my Instagram I'm definitely going to be posting a lot of different 
Christian songs, a lot of gospel rap, so stay tuned for that. Even on my reels, like, I am not going to put any secular songs. I'm really going to do it, okay? And I'm not going to forget. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all had a blessed new year. I hope you all are ready for 2023 and ready to see what God has in store for you because I am so ready. I'm going to have more talking videos on the way, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment about how you want to fast or different things you're planning. What are your 2023 goals? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video.